Hello and welcome everyone. This video is actually an extension to my previous video, the Huawei Alpha Arcade Stick review. Normally I would test out the Arcade Stick within the same video, but this time instead of making the video too long, I made a separate video so that way I can show you something cool and I can show you more. So that way you can get a better feel of how the Arcade Stick performs. So this video, we're gonna explore Ken's combo trial so you can get a better idea of how the Arcade Stick feels. All right, let's start with Ken and let's start with the beginner section. Uh, the beginner section should be fairly easy, but we're gonna go very quickly. All right, this is kick, kick, kick. This is jump in and sweep, low forward fireball. This is a heavy punch spin kick. This is target combo heavy shoyuken. This is drive impact and then target combo into heavy shoyuken. This is overdrive into heavy punch into EX shoyuken or overdrive shoyuken. This is jump in one, two, three. Number two, so one of the ways that I approach a combo is by doing it one line at a time. Instead of trying to memorize the whole thing, which is a lot sometimes, it's a lot easier if we do it line by line. So let me show you what I mean. The first line we're just gonna focus on, right? Light kick. The second line is a light punch, which is added on to the, the previous line. The third line is a light spin kick, right? We just added on to the, the second line. Now we just know the fourth line is a medium sure you can. By doing it line by line, you're constantly warming up for the previous steps. So it's a lot easier to absorb and break down, all right? So now we just add the last line. There we go. And number three, we can follow the same concept by doing it line by line. You don't have to look at anything. The first line, the second line, and then the heavy Jinrei kick, just like that. And number four, we can follow the same concept, you know, one line, two line, you know, it's a lot easier to digest. Number five, same concept, one line, two line, all right. And the last one is just a medium DP, all right. Number six, same thing. Also, when you do it line by line, you also practice your execution. You also catch your own mistakes and see where you have issues with or difficulty with. You know, so you slowly correct those little things and it's gonna make your whole combo better. You're gonna make execution better, you know? So two lines. You know? And then the last one is just a heavy DP. There we go. And there we go. Number seven is the heavy kick into the running so with ken in order to get the fire you have to do the running right you have to do the running to get the fire spin kick you know the fire or dragon laughs and things like that so you have to get used to doing the the running so this we, we have to kick do it like that number eight into run dragon lash and then heavy dp all right there we go Number nine, another way I like to approach a combo is by doing the middle first. If the middle is giving me trouble, for example, right? You can do the first line and you can do the last line, but let's say you have trouble with the, the middle part, right? So what you wanna do is spend some time and master it. So that way you don't have to uh, waste time on the first few lines because you already know it. So focus on the lines that you have issues with and then once you know you're good, right? Add that, right? And then just finish the combo. Number 10, we're starting to see cancels and dashes. A combo may look difficult or intimidating. So I'm gonna show you how I break down a combo to make it easier to do and absorb. So for this combo, we're gonna split it into two parts. The first part being the first four lines, okay? So get that down first. And the second part is just basically a running spin kick. All right. So once you get used to doing the two different parts and then you want to link them together, let's see. So something like that. Number 11, let's watch the sample. We got Jet 1, 2 running Dragon Lash into a level one super. Okay. So for this combo, I would use the middle approach because I think the middle is going to uh, have more people is gonna have trouble with so the middle is one two running dragon lash all right dragon lash so practice that make sure you get that down 
because the beginning is just a jab, right? You can do that. And then the last line is just a super, right? So make sure you get both of those down. So when you do it together, all right. Number 12 looks pretty straightforward. So we can use the uh, line by line approach, you know, just to get that down. Number 13, number 13 looks pretty long. So let's take a look at the video, spin kick. Shoryuken into super, but not the full animation. And then we got the Shoryuken into a medium Shoryuken, okay. So this combo looks long, but it's actually not that hard. So what I'm gonna do is split it into three parts. So let me show you what I do. So for this, you want to do this first, right? That's one part, right? Make sure you master that, that's one part. The second part, is a Shoryuken into DP. Make sure you get this down, all right? Get this down, and then get this down, okay? Once you get that down, it is a, the end is just a Shoryuken into a medium Shoryuken, but we don't have the height from the super, so we can only do one. You can't practice sep separately. So now, to connect everything, so first part, right? We got that, and now it's just a shoryuken into super, and the rest is just, you know, automatic. Okay, let's do it. There we go, and then we just time it for the shoryuken, light, medium, there we go. Number 14, let's take a look at the example. We got low cancel, one, two, kick, dragon lash into a level three super. Okay, so let's take a look. Uh, so we're gonna break it down into two parts. This is one part one. Make sure you get this uh, down. And then part two you want to practice is this, okay? You want to do this into this. So once you put everything together, let's see if I can remember it. Uh, there we go. Advanced one. Let's take a look at the sample. Low overhead, one, two, three, running into Shoryuken. Okay. So, we're gonna break it down into three parts. The first part being low into overhead, which is two hits, low into overhead. Practice that. The second part is the one, two, three, okay? Practice this one. The third one is just uh, the running Shoryuken. Three parts. So once you have everything together, Advanced 2. Let's take a quick look at the video. We got punch into medium overhead. One, two, three, into a fire back spin king. Okay, so we're gonna split it into three parts just like the last one, right? First part, punch into overhead. Punch into overhead, part one. Part two, the three punches. Practice the timing. The third one is the running into the spin king. So put everything together. All right. Advanced three. Let's take a look at the sample. Punch, cancel, one, two. Kick into dragon lash, into kick, kick, and then into level two super. This one looks a bit tricky. Okay, so I feel like a lot of people might have trouble here. So let's see how we're gonna break this down. So with the first four lines, so you wanna start with that. Two parts. This is part one. Part one, okay? Part two is gonna be this. Into the super, okay? Let's do that again. Oops, missed the kick. Let's do that again. So like that, all right? So now we'll put the whole thing together, but let me go back to the first one because I kind of forgot. Hold on. Okay, and then we got the uh, Jinrei kick into the EX. Okay, let's do it. There we go. Advanced 4. Let's take a quick look at the example. Low 1, 2. Jinrei kick, light kick. Shoryuken into Shoryuken. Okay, this one seems a bit tricky. So you want to break it down into two parts. First part is, as always, 
Make sure you know this, okay? Second part, the heavy Jinrei kick. Double shoryuken, okay? Third part, I mean, no third part, I mean, now we put them together. There we go. So it may take a few tries because the timing is a bit tricky. To wrap this up, I hope this video was helpful. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe is always helpful for a small channel. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments below. And I will see you guys on the next video.